What's going on guys, Phantasm Mask here, and welcome back to another story time with Phantasm Mask, part 3. So this one's not going to be as long as uh, the other one, that this is actually a very short story that happened the day that I put up the previous installment, and again, this one is just too good to pass up. Um, last time I talked about how a customer was completely neglectful about her kids and all of this. This is not that. This is something that I'm not even sure actually happened. It's one of those events that just, it happens and you don't, you're, you're standing there thinking, is this really happening right now? And that's the fact that the uh, other day, again, when I was at work, probably hadn't even been on the clock for an hour yet. I, uh, I had to walk outside. I can't remember what I was walking outside for. I think it may have been to bring just a few carts on the inside. We were running a little bit low. And this gentleman came up to me, and uh, I, I'm going to go on ahead, and I'm going to describe his appearance to you before I tell you what he said. This man was wearing a uh, tank top, white and black stripes. Um, he had very, very long gray hair. looked like it hadn't been washed in a while. Uh, he also had uh, a beard going on, which again, looked like it hadn't been uh, upkept very well. And, um, I, and that's... I'm not saying that people who look like this are normally like this, but typically when somebody approaches you looking like this, you are extra cautious. And as I was pulling out some carts, this gentleman comes up to me, and he just looks at me and goes... Hey man, you heard about those RFID chips? And I'm standing there, just, I pause for a second going like, RFID chips? I mean, yeah, I know what they are, you know, radio frequency ID chips, you know, you know the whole thing where you, any conspirator nut job would be going on about how people are going to be born with these ID chips and, be, and have them put into their skin and all this mumbo jumbo. So, I said, yeah, I've heard of RFID chips. He goes, well, you know, in, in 2017, they're going to start putting them in everybody. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. You read the Bible, don't you? And he just completely transitions from the RFID chips to, to the Holy Bible, and I knew exactly where he was going. Now, personally, I, I'm not exactly the uh, biggest subscriber of the Christian faith. I have no problem with it, except when it becomes militant. But again, you know, I'm just, I look at this guy and I just tell him, yeah, yeah, I've read it. And he goes, well, then you know not to take it, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I know not to take it. <laughs> Sorry, this is just too funny for me to to be reciting off. I can't, his voice kind of sounds like a you know, like a Tommy Chong, so it was yeah, it's weird. But um, I said, yeah, yeah, I've read the Bible. He goes, well, then you know not to take it, man. You have a good day, peace, brother. And then he hands me his cart and he walks away. I see a lot of strange individuals come into where I work. Uh, I, I, but I have never, ever had one come up to me and attempt to tell me not to take an RFID chip because <laughs> the RFID chip to uh, to the hardcore Christian crowd could be interpreted as the mark of the beast in the end times. <laughs> this guy was a trip. I This may not be as good of a story as what I had the last time, but this is just something that just happens all of a sudden, and you're not exactly sure why. It's like you've just been taken for a ride, and you necessarily did not want to go on said ride. And, you know, I'm sure people have seen other guys like this before. Uh, the only thing that would have made this story even better is if the guy was actually wearing aluminum foil on his head in the shape of a hat to keep out the radio frequencies from the Zargonian Emperor and uh, to keep away from the Omegans. I think that would probably have sealed the deal right there. 
So, have you ever had somebody very, very strange come up to you at your place of employment, spouting off things, conspiracy theories about the RFID chips? Have you ever had somebody walk up to you at work and try to convert you to their faith? Because I've had that happen, too. In fact, I think... You know, the all right. You're getting a you're getting a two for one deal since uh since that one was a little bit short. Um, this one didn't happen to me while I was at work. It was actually while I was on the uh I was on the bus, and I think I was uh I think I was actually riding down to uh, the local comic shop to pick up the uh, latest Moon Knight issue, and there was this Hispanic lady. Uh, she spoke uh, broken English. Um, and she was having a discussion with the driver and some of the other passengers about the uh, Malaysian flight that disappeared. Excuse me, that disappeared. And she was saying that some lady earlier in the day told her that they they had found the flight, that it was in the Bermuda Triangle. (laughs) When I heard that, I was was trying so hard to not laugh at her. And the bus driver just casually goes, I don't think they found it over there. If you know what the Bermuda Triangle is, they're not finding anything over there. So, eh, that's a little bit of a supplemental story time with Phantasm Mask. So, hopefully, more interesting people will come into where I work, or maybe I will remember an awkward story from the past that I'll be able to tell again. Until next time, Phantasm Mask here, signing out, wishing you a good day, night, afternoon, whatever day it is. Also, go out and play some video games. Later.